All right, guys, good morning. Mr. G bringing you coffee and cross out today. We're going to talk about really exciting stuff. We're going to look at the size of wheels. If you've ever been trying to make a build and you just can't get a wheel to fit inside a wheel well and you're like, why won't it go in there? My goodness. Which wheel should I use? Well, we've organized wheels by diameter, size, and we'll be looking at suspension, travel, etc. Nothing super mind-blowingly exciting, but just lining up some wheels, organizing some wheels, and peek it around. So we've categorized wheels by small wheels, medium wheels, significantly more of those, and large wheels. We're not talking about tracks or meat grinders or legs or hovers today. We're just looking at good old fashioned teeny tiny regular old turnaround wheels today. So let's fire it up with a small wheels. So you're going to notice that small wheels are, you know, not particularly big. And coming in at the very small, it's pretty close. The starter wheel maybe, maybe is just slightly less uh, diameter here than the stallion. I've been going back and forth on some of these this morning, trying to swap them around uh, to figure out what size they are. Now, also, if you hit the F key, you can pull up your weld points, but you're also going to see the travel of your suspension and how much room you need in the arc for the travel. So these wheels have pretty similar, you know, suspension. A little bit more on the stallion, but the stallion has hydraulics, which can lower it up and down. It's kind of a bummer that there's no hydraulics actually built into the animation on the suspension for that one, but they're all pretty similar. So we've got starter wheel, stallion wheel, studded wheel, and landing gear. These are gonna be your absolute smallest wheels. So if you're building something tiny, or you have a really small wheel well and you gotta cram it inside somewhere, use one of these four. Also, if you go watch my uh, movement part speed test or ultimate wheel guide video, you'll notice that the diameter of wheels definitely impacts you know your top speed and acceleration. So it's important to pay attention to diameter. Next up, we're gonna look at the medium wheels, the largest category of wheels. I did have some trouble organizing these ones by size. They're pretty similar, but there's some differences. Um, you're going to notice that the shiv wheel is probably slightly larger than the chained wheel. Let's move that. So I've been trying to organize these today. Um, some wheels sit at different angles a little bit. A little bit a little trickier to tell in some cases. So we got chained wheel, shiv wheel. Shiv wheel we found to be the fastest wheel it as all the movement parts go. It does the least amount of speed limiting. So if you do want something fast, the shiv wheel is your friend. Uh, the other ones came in pretty similar. Right, medium wheel, that's nothing fancy there. Interesting about the balloon tire is it doesn't have a lot of suspension travel. It's got about the same diameter as the medium wheel, but it just doesn't doesn't really travel up and down that much. And then you've got the Lunar 4, and you've got APC, pretty similar size. You've got gun mount, which has a fair amount of travel on the suspension, and the same for the twin wheel. And then lastly, we have... The large wheels, and you're going to notice something here, is that the way these mount up is is, is very different. Uh, like there is way way less travel on the suspension for the for the large wheel, but it's probably slightly bigger diameter than the Bigfoot. That or it's it's nearly identical, but not quite. It's pretty close. But you're going to notice that the Bigfoot has much more travel in suspension uh, than the large wheel does. And when you do mount a Bigfoot. You need to leave this whole area free. You can't build anywhere in that region. And if you've ever used them, you know that because it needs that area to travel and uh, move around in. So you can fit large wheels in much, well, not much, but significantly smaller spaces than you can a Bigfoot. Guys, that is it for this one. Let me know anything you've noticed about wheels in the comments. This is just simply a wheel size dimension guide looking at different parts and how they fit and how to build with them. And that's pretty much it. If you found this useful, please hit that like and subscribe button. Mr. G.